Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. I got messaged being asked, is there any good free Pokemon MMO games online? And the answer to that is yes, there is a new one that's just come out. And if you head on over to the link that's in the description below, you'll end up on a page that looks like this. As you can see, it's got a lot going for it. It really does look good. You can battle in real time with friends. You can choose which Pokemon you would like to start off with, like the originals, Bulbasaur, Charmander and Squirtle. And there's a massive world to explore. But now moving on to how to download and set this game up. To do this, you now need to click on this download now button in the left hand corner here. And you then need to select what version of Windows you have. If you've got 32-bit, you'll select the 32B. And if you've got 64-bit, you'll select Windows 64. You need to remember that there are system requirements below here. Um, the minimum spec, it doesn't actually require too much. Obviously recommended an i5. It can be, you know, not everyone's got a i5 or higher. Anyway, let's go ahead and install this Pokemon MMO. Where I've got 64-bit, I'm going to select the 64-bit version. And once you're on this next page, you need to scroll down and press the Download Now button. And then click on the download link just here. And you want to go Save File. Once that's finished downloading, you need to run this setup file. I'm just going to fast forward this video now. Okay, once that's finished downloading, if you're running Firefox, you can click in the right hand corner now and open the setup file. You want to now press run. And I'm just going to minimize my web browser for a second. Okay, you now need to go OK for, well, select your language and press OK. And you want to go next, I accept, next, and next again, next, next. And I'm going to create a desktop shortcut. And we want to go install. This can take a couple of seconds depending on how fast your computer is. Okay, once that's finished installing, you just need to go next and finish. I'm going to have Pokemon launch. If you don't want to launch it, deselect this checkbox here. And now you can choose what sort of graphics options you want. As you can see here, I've got my resolution. I'm going to keep that at 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to set my graphics to amazing as my system does have enough specs to run the highest quality. Here you've got all your controls. As you can see there, if I just scroll through a little bit, and you can obviously change them around. Right, I'm going to hit play now. Okay, once your game's booted up, this is the screen you will see. As you can see, the game is only in alpha at the moment. I'm going to go ahead now and hit find a server. And we need to register our ID. I'm just going to enter in a username now. And I'm just going to type in a password. There we go. And, oh, yeah, that's good. I'm just going to type that in again. And just type in my email address quickly. Right, once you've typed all that in, you can now hit join. And as you can see, it just come up and said registered account. And here we are. We are now in this little Pokemon world. If I just hit X now. And as you can see, there's our guy there, Ash Catchem. And wow, this game really does look amazing. There is definitely a lot of potential in this game. And cool, you can see people have got a few Pokemon out already. You've got an Onyx there, another Onyx, a Cypher. You've got a Blastoise up there in that building. 
and there's an Alakasam there. That's very cool. If we just go this way real quick. This is Oak's Lab. That's, that's cool. And who's this? This is the assistant. Professor Oak is absent, but you can still choose a Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and choose Bulbasaur, as Bulbasaur is pretty awesome. How is your Pokemon? Okay, he is up there. Right, let's go back outside. And how did we get out of here then? Oh, there's a little Charmander down there. That's cool. All right, let's go this way. And that is it. That is how you install Pokemon onto your computer. If I press that... I believe you can actually get your Pokemon out and control them. And there you go. Cool. I am now controlling a Bulbasaur on this MMO. That is awesome. Right, I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, smash that like button and subscribe for more Computer Sluggish Plus videos.